Hey, welcome back. If you're a creative person like myself, have you ever fallen into this trap where you have told something that you're working on, but you haven't completely finished it as a way of like, you know, I want to share this information with somebody. And that person, instead of helping you, essentially knocked down your idea. Has that ever happened to you? I heard about this when I was listening to James Altucher's podcast when he was interviewing Sarah Blakely, the, the woman who invented uh, the hosiery company called Spanx. And she said something interesting that I really didn't give a lot of thought to. She said that when she was working on it, she would not tell it to her immediate family or friends and or anybody close until it was working. Because if you tell something, they either are going to try to knock it down as a way to help you so that you don't feel the pain, or they may do it out of uh, jealousy or out of ignorance. So she said that that she did not tell anybody that she was working on Spanx, uh, whatever that uh, hosiery that she was working on. She said that they didn't go through what she was going through. And if she told them that, they're probably going to say something and she would end up quitting. I kind of remembered that because I said, you know, th is there anything to it? I just learned it that she's absolutely correct. That when you're working on anything creative, whether it's writing a book or inventing a product or whatever it is, making a film, you name it, don't share it with anybody until it's working. And if you do want a feedback, you're probably better off getting an expert and paying that expert to get the feedback. So I'll tell you what happened to me. And I'm currently just going to be coming out with this book uh, called Winning Speech Moments. This is my first book. And you know, there are people who inquire about my book. And, and I'm kind of new at this. So I tell them everything about it. Like, you know. I'm working on this book and then they're like, what is your marketing plan and what is this and what is that? And, uh, you know, right right now, I, I guess if when somebody asks me, I feel like, wow, they really want to know. So I tell them. And I found out yesterday that's not a good idea, that what you have gone through is something that other people cannot relate to it. You shouldn't tell any, uh, people anything. Don't tell them anything. Just say, oh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what it happens. So I proceeded to tell this individual about this book. And I thought he was there to help me. Like, you know, what is your marketing plan? And at the end, I'm, he's basically trying to put me down. Say, so like, you know, who would, who's ever going to read this book? Why are you qualified to write this book? What have you done that makes you write this book? All the kind of questions that I was like, okay. I mean, if somebody doesn't want to read the book, that's fine. I can't force people to read it. Even if they read it, if they're not going to practice it, nothing's going to happen. And he said, like, you know, who has endorsed your book? I said, well, I don't want an endorsement from somebody who hasn't done it. Like, what does an endorsement mean? Endorsement just means that they're just going to say some good words. But I don't want that kind of endorsement. I want real live proof points. And I said, I got a few of those. But I said, until somebody does it, it's very hard for me to include that. But anyway, that's not even the point. The point is that I share too much information with this person. And because I shared the information, I became very vulnerable to him putting it down. Now, he might have thought that that's not what he was doing. But essentially, I kind of put myself into a trap by giving him more information that he needed to know. When you're successful, you just let the success talk. But when you're not successful, you want validation from others. And that's a mistake. And that's a trap I fell into. I mean, this book isn't even out yet. so. I can't say this book is successful. And even what does success mean anyway? So when you explain something, you want validation. Like, oh, yeah, your book is great. Your book is great. This guy did me a big favor. Now I know exactly how to deal with people when it comes to my book. I now know what I need to say so that I don't fall into this trap. Like, oh, I need your validation. I don't need anybody's validation. This book I wrote, it works for me. That's it. If you want to buy it, if you have a problem, this book, a particular problem that I'm solving, this book will help. I can't make you do the stuff that I'm asking you to do in this book. That's up to you. But the thing is that 
I don't need to explain it. Like, here's what I'm going to do to get the book out in front of other people. Look, I have my marketing plan. Some of it's going to work, some of it's not going to work. But the mistake that that I made with this person was I gave him too much information. Like, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. And when you give people too much information, they'll poke holes into everything. And the hole they're poking isn't coming from somebody who's there to help you. They're basically trying to either help you. They think they're trying to help you, but when they're trying to help you, they're actually hurting you. I don't think this person meant uh, anything uh, bad. I just think that he doesn't know. He can't put himself in my shoes at all. So he's giving me his feedback based on like how he would think if he had written this book. Would he even waste time writing this book? So his perspective is coming from like, why did this guy write this book? Who's going to read this book? How is he going to sell this book? I think he meant well. But I think by trying to, because he can't relate to my experience, he indeed didn't help me much. But now, what I got out of it is that I gave him too much information. And the information you need to give to people is that you're successful. And that's it. Don't need to tell them anything more. I wrote the book. The book is out. We'll see what happens. Keep it short. Don't give them too much information. If you want information, if you want certain feedback, pay for it. Because then you need to give information. Otherwise, the person can't help you. But when somebody's not paying you anything, when you're not paying somebody anything, don't give any information. They don't need to know. That's it. So keep this in mind uh, as you're working on your book or anything creative. Keep it to yourself. You don't need to tell anybody until you get it working. Then you can say, well, look, I got it working. I got this client. I got this client. I got this client. And that's what people do. Because otherwise, you're going to be you're very vulnerable when you were at this the stage that I'm in right now. I'm extremely vulnerable because I put a lot of effort into this book. And when people say things, it can hurt you overall. So I just, I, I think I'm pretty strong here, but I just wanted to let you know that this is going to happen. Um, keep it to yourself. Let it, until it works. If you want feedback, don't tell them you're working on it. Get some higher level feedback. But feedback isn't going to help you unless the person is, is, is doing this. And that type of feedback is important if the person can relate to what you're doing or has already done something similar. Otherwise, it's not going to be a, that, that much of a help to you. Again, my name is Jay Oza, and I'm coming out with this book, Winning Speech Moments. It's on Amazon. I will get the Kindle version there soon. And this book is for people who want to win when they're speaking. That's what this book's about. And thank you for watching, and let me know if you have any questions, and good luck.